My name is Caleb Misik. I'm going to be a senior next year at the University of Minnesota. I'm studying marketing and minoring in food systems. I, this summer, I was an intern for the supply chain development team for iPrefer, and my project was developing communication media for Pennycrest. You're probably asking yourself, how is the supply chain development important for Pennycrest? It is important because it creates demand for Pennycrest, it also creates a supply of penny crests from growers. And finally, um, it's important because it connects all the right stakeholders together to transform it from a crop into an end product demanded by consumers. However, to achieve this, effective communication is necessary because it doesn't matter if the crop is ready for market, every stakeholder needs to be communicated to why uh, it is important and they should adopt penny crest into their system. That is why our project goal that was to develop commercial supply chains for winter oilseed cash cover crops like Pennycrest. Me and my co-intern, Isaac Goldman, worked on this two-step project. First was to research and develop a communication guideline to create a toolkit on how to communicate and approach different stakeholders like growers, manufacturers, and consumers about Pennycrest. Uh, we also, ex in the toolkit, explained how we came to our suggestions through our research data. The second step, which I'm going to continue discussing today, was creating media. This involved creating brochures, flyers, presentations, and posters, all for each of the, our uh, targeted stakeholder groups. And they were informed by our guidelines. I will now explain how our research um, helped us come to our communication guideline. First, we conducted secondary research, which meant we researched and analyzed information and studies done on consumers, makers, and growers. And then we created our own research and data through primary research, through in-depth interviews with industry representatives that gave us an insight into food and consumer trends. We also had a survey, which got over 140 responses that was diverse, but a majority were from people 18 to 25. We concluded that 70% of consumers desire sustainable products, 61% prefer ethical sourcing, and 93% care about the quality of products produced. And so overall, the communication guidelines helped build our media materials. This was because it gave a framework to allow us to create media that presents highly accurate information from the research uh, I discussed in the prior slide, we created media that was also versatile as we could use it for multiple uh, types of events and educational conferences. Finally, it engages different types of stakeholders effectively as we only chose to talk, uh, touch on uh, information they prioritized. And finally, it overall demystified Pennycrest for the reader. The first media that we created were bro brochures. These were perfect take home uh, materials. And due to the six sides of the brochures, it was great for detailed descriptions. We also included a lot of images and touched on the benefits, considerations, and how to be further involved with Agrifer. Our flyers were perfect attention getters. These included um, brief descriptors and were mainly used to show, showcase upcoming events. We also included a lot of images and uh, we had fun and used QR codes. We thought this was a great way to customize for uh, upcoming events, and we felt due to the pandemic, uh, they would be easily uh, uh, used and understood by um, the stakeholders. We also worked on presentations. We use these mainly for educational purposes, and we had a lot of uh, prompts in all the slides to lead to further descriptions from the actual presenter, and we also uh, believe these presentations were perfect to lead to further discussion with the stakeholders uh, watching the presentation. We also, again, included images, graphics, and ways for the stakeholders to be more involved with I prefer. Finally, we created posters. These were um, designed for field days and, or conferences, and they give a broad overview of Pennycrest. So there's a lot of space for information, so we kind of included everything like how it's grown, the future of Pennycrest, and its environmental benefits. Finally, uh, the media was picked to give Iberfer a base level of materials that they could use to advertise new events and to get people and stakeholders uh, excited for the crops. There was also a theme design that was maintained throughout the media to keep it consistent and clear, 
and finally it was formatted to be easily customizable to stay up to date with the ongoing progress of Pentacrest. If there's any questions, I'm more than happy to answer, and thank you so much. It's been a pleasure this summer to work for I Prefer. Thank you. Bye.